Hey ladies, so welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Ask Maria. Yes, I'm wearing the same outfit because I'm filming two videos today. I'm putting in some work. <laughs> so, today we have another question. And that question is, wait for it. Why did he leave me for someone who doesn't cook and clean? He said that he likes me natural, but he left me for a fake bitch. Help. Okay, that's the question of today. And before we get into answering that question, of course, ladies, if you would like to support me and support this channel, come over on Patreon and sign up to the High Pilgrimous Mindset Patreon and become a Patreon. You can sign up for as little as five dollars. Also, if you would if you would like to join my free group, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. If you would like to join my paid group, you would have to DM me on Facebook. But you know. In order for you to get the paid get into the paid group you must pass a screening process also if you would like to donate to me my people link is also below but the best thing you can do for this channel is like subscribe and share because that helps me out a lot share these videos to all your pick me friends like if you if you um if you're having problems explaining things to some people all you have to do is just share this share this video like and subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notification that is the best thing you can do for me right now. So anyway, let's get into answering the question. This is a very common question. Usually most of the questions do have like a lot of red flag, but this one is um, so much easier for me to answer because I've seen this question so many times, like so many times I've seen questions like this. Let's get into the red flag. This question in particular, I only see one red flag and that red flag is he loves me natural but he left me for a fake bitch. Okay, so maybe two red flags, okay? The first red flag is that um, this guy bamboozled you and made you believe that he likes you natural. Usually when men say that, that's a red flag and I'm gonna get into why that is. And the second red flag I see is you use the term fake bitch and I feel like that's kind of misogynistic. I'm, I'm all about showing love to other women because you know women we need to love each other more because men they love each other they stick up for each other they they lie for each other you know they have like a very strong bro code and you know with women we what we tend to do is tear down each other and i feel like you know that was like a dig of at the woman that you know he left you for but you know it's understandable because i know you are very upset you're very bitter you don't understand what's going on you you thought that you did everything right and he still left you so let's go go ahead and answer the question so yes the question so why did he leave me Be the reason why he leave you is because he can he can you are not married you was jenny was just his girlfriend I assume you were just saying you were just his girlfriend because he didn't mention anything about marriage. So you were just a, a girlfriend to him and everybody's fair game. And this is what a lot of women don't understand. If you are single, do not invest all your time and energy into one guy until you get a commitment and get an engagement. The only time that you go completely exclusive is when you get an engagement. So when you are dating someone, that you are not married to when you have a boyfriend you do not live with this person do not live with someone that you, that you are not married to because if you are in a relationship with a guy and you're playing paying bills you're going 50 50 cooking and cleaning and stuff like that you are giving him a lot of service and wife duties for free and he doesn't deserve that because all of that stuff come comes at a cost he had in order for him to be able to to have a, um, a, um, a woman to live in the same house with him and cook and clean or whatever is he's whatever his expect expectations are you know he needs to marry her and also did you guys have a discussion where he wanted you to cook or clean because a lot of women assume that men are looking for a woman who can cook and clean i don't know why we we um a lot of us assume that but believe it or not me, most men especially most high value men out here are not looking for a maid they are not. I'm sorry to break it to you. Wherever you got that upbringing from, whoever told you that, you know, um, a man is looking for someone who is natural and could cook, 
so, sorry, a man is looking for someone who is natural and can cook and clean, that I do not know where you get that, um, that idea from, but you really do have to get rid of that ideology and start thinking like a high value woman because a high value woman knows that she has a lot a lot to offer other than cooking and cleaning if you are offering cooking and cleaning services you need to charge for it don't don't be out here cooking and cleaning for men and again a lot of women assume that men are looking for um, a woman to cook and clean and that's that's all that it is it's just an assumption did you ask him did you ask him that you know do you want um, someone to be cooking and cleaning? If that's what he wants, he can pay for it. He can pay for that service. There are people that charge for those type of services. You do not know if that's what he wants. And clearly that's not what he wanted because he left you for someone who doesn't cook and clean. So look at the person that he left you for and that and if she's the complete opposite of you, that means that he never wanted you to begin with. He was just using you. Because at the, end of the, at the end of the day, men always go after what they want. They always go after what they want. Especially if they, they just, just, they just up and just walk out of a relationship. Because usually men who invest a lot into a relationship, they don't really walk away from that relationship. So clearly, you were low investment and you was just a placeholder. Just waiting for, you know, the right woman to come along. So that's the reason why he left you. And... You know, I want to also address the whole, I like you natural with no makeup, um, you know, and then turn around to leave you with some, leave you for someone who wears makeup and wigs and weaves and nails or whatever, you know, and, you know, dress up, go shopping. The thing is, in history, women in history, especially women that made history, that we talk about history, and, you know, you look at old movies and stuff like that. Women always had themselves put together. They wore makeup, they got their hair did, they, um, they had their nails done, they dressed well, they always look good. And the women that men put on a pedestal in society are women who, those women are not natural. I'm sorry to break it to you. The next time you want to know what a man wants, and I'm going to give you guys this tip before I go because this is going to be a short video. I'm going to give you this tip. When you're just, when you're dating and you're meeting a guy, ask these two questions but try not to ask it too early and try to make it please try to make it natural you know like slip it naturally into the conversation ask the guy who was his first crush and usually their first crush was someone usually someone in high school or something like that it's always usually high school and get them to describe this person in details if you live in the united states and they have like yearbook photos or stuff like that you know let them show you the pictures and stuff like that you know Listen and try not to judge because you're trying to figure out what this guy likes. Find out who is who his first crush is because usually men always have a type and usually their type usually that's that their type stems from their first crush. Usually that happens in high school. And another question you're gonna ask this guy is who is his celebrity crush? That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna look at his celebrity crush so you can you can have an idea. If you look nothing like like those two women, maybe you might wanna rethink and keep your options open. And also look at his exes. Look at his exes. Those are the, those are the three main ways to find out what men, what a, a man like a specific man wants in a woman, and what's you know. It's 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 not um, it's not as complicated as you, as you think it is. Like it's pretty easy because usually men are happy to talk about their first crush. They are okay with talking about their celebrity crush. So you know. Ask those questions, but the next time, if you know that you're a woman that don't like to wear makeup, I'm not saying that you have to wear makeup, but if you want to wear makeup and you want to beautify yourself, do not let a man tell you that, you know, you're better natural and I like you natural. Like, don't do that because men, a man's goal is to secure sex. Men secure sex in many ways. Um, usually, they will get money, they will become successful. Um, so that they can or they will always have access to sex men who are broke They use psychology. So they're gonna eat at your self-esteem and Use psychology on you and tell you something when they mean something else. So Do not blame the woman The fake bitch do not blame the woman. It has nothing to do with you or him, you know 
he wants what he wanted he wanted what he wanted and he went after it that's it and I know you feel bad and I know you are upset and you're angry and I know you invested a lot of time and energy into this relationship but again never ever ever invest into a relationship emotionally unless you have a real commitment which is an engagement and not just a, not, not just a shut up ring okay like a real engagement where you have plans to get married when you go and you fill out forms they don't ask you if you are in a relationship or they don't ask that type of stuff they ask you if you're married or single that's it okay um of course divorce widow whatever but you know usually i don't see any um boxes that say i'm in a relationship they don't ask that stuff so if you are not in a relationship if you are not married you are single keep your options open do not give all your um your time and energy into a man don't be out there cooking and cleaning for a man don't um stop do not and please do not let a man tell you that you look better natural okay don't let a man stop you from wearing your your wigs or wearing your makeup or dressing up and stuff like that because what he's doing he is taking you off the market in a sneaky way and you he's taking you off the market without with very little investment and and eliminating the competition okay he is blocking you from meeting your husband and meeting the one so do not let a boyfriend block you from meeting your husband okay ladies and remember what i said in my previous video a boyfriend the definition of boyfriend is youth and beauty stealer so do not waste your youth and your beauty on a guy who doesn't want to marry and who doesn't um cherish you and loves you and respects you okay so i hope this answered your question and thank you ladies so much for listening if you have any more questions leave them in the comments or hit me up on facebook and i will try to answer these questions as best as i can and of course again i'll see you guys in another video bye